You guys are about to witness my very first nail art tutorial ever. I'm not sure yet if this is gonna be a series or like a one-time thing, but I really want to try out doing nail art in a video. I've only done nail art probably one other time in my life. Which brings me to the point of you guys are probably wondering why Stitch of like all the characters ever. This is the very first nail art I actually ever did on myself. I did it for my 20th birthday, so I figured it'd be appropriate to have it for my first nail art video, right? And actually I was just at a show and stopped by the China Glaze booth and they like really truly inspired me to start a nail art video. No matter what kind of canvas I'm painting on, I've always been a painter, so I figured I would paint on a new canvas. A very, very small, tiny canvas. Very small. If you guys enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you guys want me to do some more nail art, let me know in the comments below what characters you guys would like to see. Challenge me. Give me something difficult. I'm first applying a base coat. I'm also realizing how short these instructions are going to be. I'm then applying a blue polish, which I'll be listing in the description all of the products that I use today, as always. And while that polish is still wet, I'm then going to sprinkle on lit glitter. Just like doing a glitter tattoo, it's only going to stick to the polish itself. It won't stick to your fingers, I mean, maybe a little bit, but you could brush it off. Using white polish, I'm then painting my middle finger. And because I lack all patience when it comes to things drying, I'm using my hair dryer to dry my nails. It's important to make sure things are dry between each step so that way nothing smudges together. For the design, I'm actually going to be using acrylic paint, which I read online that it's okay to use on your nails as long as you use a base coat, but like I said, I am not a nail technician. So if this is incorrect and not safe, I'm sure I will hear it a lot in the comments below. I'm just painting out Stitch's head as well as his little tiny hairs that go above his head, and also his ears on the side. Using a light blue polish and a dotting tool, you could also use like a pencil tip or anything that's like rounded out. I'm gonna be painting on two big blue dots for his eyeball sockets, I guess, kind of. And then using more of a regular blue for his nose. To add his pupils slash eyeballs, I'm using the thinnest dotting tool that I have as well as black polish. And when it comes to adorable things, you usually want to add a little bit of a shine into their eye. And I'm doing that using white polish. I like to add two dots, give it some extra cuteness. For the inside of his ears, I'm using light pink acrylic paint and just painting in the inside of his ears. Once you're done with that, it should pretty much look like this. Moving on to the flower on my ring finger, I'm using white polish and just drawing the flower's petals. I wanted to keep it a smidgen more of a tropical flower, so I made the edges jagged instead of just using the dotting tool and doing the five dots. Once that's completely dry, I'm filling in the center with hot pink nail polish. Apply a clear coat and then you could also apply your rhinestones in the middle of the flower. I personally am using three little ones to make a triangle. You can then go ahead and apply top coat to all of your nails, including over the rhinestones. 